Hello, I'm the Judgmental Cat, and welcome to this tutorial of getting started and making a Risk of Rain 2 mod. Now, this tutorial will cover the very basic setup for starting a mod for Risk of Rain 2, and when I say covering the basics, I mean generically setting up the boilerplate example plugin and then testing that plugin. So, any and all links further in this video will be in the description. So some of the things that you will need is you will need a copy of Risk of Rain 2. You can buy it from Steam or Epic Games. Uh, you will also need to have Visual Studio Community. And when you download Visual Studio Community, you will need to make sure when you're installing it that the .NET desktop development is ticked. And then you will also need to download R2 Modman from the Thunder Store. This is one of the two different uh, Risk of Rain 2 mod managers that you can use to help manage your different mods. So assuming you have Risk of Rain 2 and you have downloaded Visual Studio Community and have made sure that you have installed it with the .NET desktop development, the next thing you need to do is download R2 Modman from the Thunder Store. Now, once you have downloaded it from the Thunder Store, you don't even need to extract it. You can just, if you're an administrator on your computer, you can run it from here within the zip file, and that'll install R2 Modman. And once you do that, all you have to do is follow the installer steps. So once you have R2 Modman install, you can then open open the mod manager. You can then search for Risk of Rain 2. I have it favorited, so that's why it pops up here. And then you will select the game, and then you will select whatever platform you own Risk of Rain 2 on. In this case, I own it on Steam, so I will be selecting Steam. Select the platform. And then here, you can go and there'll be no profile. So in this case, let's pretend I don't have a profile. Dev for video. You'll, you'll create that profile. And then you can click and then select that profile. Now that a profile has been set up, we will need to download the R2 API. We can do this by navigating to the online tab right here. Then at the top, it's pinned, the R2 API, and we can download it, and we can download it with its dependencies. Uh, the good thing about R2 Modman is that as stuff updates, it'll automatically update it for you. So we'll download this with dependencies, and now we can see it has downloaded all of the things we need to get started making a Risk of Rain 2 mod. Okay, now that we have uh, downloaded the R2 API, the next thing you will need to do is download the boilerplate template. Uh, the link to that, it will be in the description. Uh, and just for those who don't know, a boilerplate code essentially boils down to being something that is repeatedly used with little or no modification. In essence, it is essentially a template. Uh, in this case, it's just an example. Uh, so once you have downloaded uh, the zip file for the boilerplate, you're going to want to uh, extract that. Once the boilerplate has finished extracting, you're going to want to navigate to the folder you told it to extract to. In this case, I just told it to extract the desktop, so it created another boilerplate folder for me. In this, we're going to navigate to the subfolder. And then right here, we have a Visual Studio Solution project file that we're going to open. Uh, when you open this, I believe it's going to ask you what program you want to open with it and you'll select Visual Studio. And then you will also get a pop-up stating, do you want to trust this project source or not? And you're just going to click OK to that. In my case, I already did that. Once the project is open on the right-hand slide, you can see the Solution Explorer. It has 
the example dot csproj file right here, which houses the dependencies, the example plugin dot cs and the log dot cs. These are both C sharp files. The example plugin holds all of the boilerplate code for the basically what we're going to be testing. This is just the example. What we're going to do is we're going to build the solution. Now, in my case, for some reason, I get this error, which if you get that same error, it has to do, I believe, with the .NET um, language version. In this case, you're going to navigate to the Solution Explorer, right click on um, the example plugin, and then edit, edit example plugin.csproj, and then Right here in this section, there's the language version. In my case, we can go to six without any issue. I'm going to save that, close that, and then rebuild the project again. Now with the project rebuilt, you'll get an output of the example plugin.dll file. Uh, the .dll file is the thing that you will need to run your mod or in this case, run the example. Okay, now that we have built our DLL file, we're gonna copy the path to it, and then we're gonna navigate to RO2ModMin. Now in here, we can navigate down to Settings, navigate to Profile, and then scroll down and find Import Local Mod. This will allow us to import either a zip file or a DLL file. Now we'll be using this because obviously we haven't uploaded our mod or anything to the Thunderstore. So we'll select select the file. In this case, I have already navigated to there, but in worst case, you copy and paste your link. Uh, you don't need to have the DLL file at the end of that, and you'll just navigate to the same folder. You'll select the DLL file, select it. You can give it a mod name, you can tell it you're the author, add a description for it, and then change your version number. And then you import local mod, and as you can see, we can navigate back up to inscroll, scroll down, and see that we have example plugin here. Now that we have imported our mod, we are going to navigate up here to start modded. This will launch our Risk of Rain 2 through whatever platform we have selected. It will also create this little console that we have that I have moved to another monitor, but this is where you can see it loading all of the mods. As you can see, we have our example plugin right here loaded. I'm going to move this out of the way, and then we're going to let Risk of Rain 2 load. Once Risk of Rain 2 has loaded, you're going to navigate into a single player game. You're going to select a character, select your difficulty, and just hit ready. Once you have spawned in, you can hit the F2 key and you should spawn an item from the boilerplate plugin as such. And once we pick it up, we can see that there's a chance to cloak on um, kill. And thus, you are all set up for your modding adventure in Risk of Rain 2. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial, and it has helped you set up for your Risk of Rain 2 modding adventures. So I wish you luck in anything and everything that you create involving Risk of Rain 2. I will also leave my step-by-step uh, -step PDF guide that I basically, I took the instructions that were already on the Risk of Thunder wiki and sort of combined them into what was shown in this video. So I will leave that in the description for you all to look at.